I don't know about you, but I find brunch one of the hardest meals as a vegan. Particularly if I'm trying to go out to a restaurant with friends and find something that's not egg-based, that's not oatmeal, or toast with peanut butter, because those things I could make at home. So what I wanted to show you today was a recipe that you could make for yourself for a nice Sunday brunch, or if you wanted to have a potluck brunch party with some friends, you could bring this as a vegan option. And I wanted to show a twist on a tofu scramble because I know not everybody eats tofu. Personally, I get so much gas from tofu that I don't eat it very much. So what we're gonna do is make a chickpea scramble. It's gonna be a lovely savory brunch that you can make for yourself, for your family, or for friends. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by sauteing some veggies. And you can choose whatever veggies you like, whatever you have on hand, whatever you think would be nice. You can take inspiration from recipes or from uh, meals that you might see in restaurants for brunch. So things that they might have in terms of omelets or breakfast sandwiches or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is mushroom, which I'm slicing up here, some zucchini, some cherry tomato, and I'm gonna finish it off with some fresh parsley. I got a big pan over here that I'm going to, that's not the right one, heat to medium high. And you can either saute with olive oil or water or veggie broth whatever you prefer. I am gonna do some water and you're just going to saute your veggies. So I'm gonna start with the mushrooms because they're gonna take the longest to cook. And I'm gonna put a little bit of water in with them as they heat, along with a pinch of sea salt, which helps them cook faster. I minimize the prep time when I cook by cutting up the vegetables as I go. So I cut up the, veg the mushrooms first, started them cooking, and now while they're heating up, I can be chopping up my zucchini. It's important when you're water sauteing to keep the right amount of water. If you have too much, then the vegetables will boil, which gives a bit of a different texture that you don't want. But if it dries out too much, then the pan is gonna burn. So that's why I keep a bottle or a kettle of water beside me while I water saute. So once those are softened a little bit, you can then put the next vegetable in. And for me, that's gonna be the zucchini. So this is what happens if you run out of water, you start to get browning on the bottom of the pan, which is just like what would happen if you were sauteing with oil. And then what you can do is just add a little bit of water and it's gonna sizzle and be really impressive. Call that deglazing. Next, we're gonna add the chickpeas and you can use canned or cooked. These ones I cooked in my pressure cooker, so they're really nice and soft and are gonna be nice to mash up. You can use a potato masher, you can use a fork, or you can get right in there with your hands, which is what I like to do. And you're just gonna crush these up a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna put my chickpeas in next because I don't really want my tomatoes to cook much, they're just gonna get heated at the end. Next, we're gonna season it, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use <laughs> some smoked paprika. Also going to put some sea salt in here and some nutritional yeast. Turmeric is also really nice to put in here to give it a nice color, but I don't have any today, so I'm gonna leave that out. Add any other flavors if you like. I'm now gonna turn this down because it's starting to crack and you can see that it's starting to dry on the bottom and stick to my ceramic non-stick pan. I can add these tomatoes and then I'm gonna just chop up this parsley. As you can see, this is a really flexible recipe, so whatever seasonings, whatever vegetables you like, you can throw in here. I always love adding parsley because it adds such a huge nutritional boost for such a small little herb. And I would call that done. 
If you want a green boost, you could serve this over some chopped spinach or steamed kale, or just enjoy it on its own. All right, let's try this. It is steaming, very hot still. Mmm. So good. Really satisfying dish. Great for brunch, probably great for lunch as well. Even dinner, multi-purpose. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Leave me a comment down below if you have anything to say or any questions. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week with vegan recipes, nutrition tips, and inspiration. I also have a recipe club if you want to get the nutrition details for this recipe, put it in a meal plan with some of my other healthy vegan recipes, hundreds to choose from, all with videos. You can find more details at a link below this video. All right, enjoy. Oh, vegan, okay, yeah.